We're talking about functions when they're increasing, decreasing, when are they positive and when are they negative. It's, it's pretty simple, but it gets confusing. So let me ask it this way. For what x values is the y value increasing? So when I plug in my x and I get my y values, right? When is it increasing? And we're talking about from left to right. So, well, if I plug in x, I'm gonna get this number. Then I'm gonna get this number. It means it went down. It went down, it went down, it went down. Once I cross one, so this is my one right here. Once I cross one and I plug in 1.5, the y value went up, which means that as I plug in more x values and x values, my y value is increasing. So for what x values is my function increasing? Well, after 1 to this side, my values of y are going up. Therefore, I'm going to get up and say that my when x is greater than 1, when x is greater than 1, then my function, my y values are increasing. And when is it decreasing? Well, that's easy because it was happening as we were coming along. So when x was less than 1, when x was less than 1, my function kept on going down and down. So my answer for this is x is less than 1. I hope that makes sense. It's almost like it's a roller coaster. It's going down this way, and then it's going up. But instead of talking about my y values, I'm saying when along the x-axis. So before, it's almost like this is the time. At what time? Well, before 1, it was always going down, going down, going down. After 1, it's always going up, going up, going up. I have kind of idea. When is the function positive? Okay. Positive means it's above the x-axis. But again, so I mean, if I'm just looking at, when, at what time, when does this happen? Well, before minus 1, all my values were positive. Before minus 1. And then after 3. So before minus 1 and after 3, if I plug in those x's, I'm going to get a positive y value. So if I plug in x equals minus 2, I'm going to get a positive y value. If I plug in x equals to 4, I'm going to get a positive y value. Therefore, I have two answers. Either x is less than minus 1 or x is greater than 3. x is less than minus 1 gives me a y positive y value and x is greater than 3 gives me a positive y value. What happens between minus 1 and 3? Well, if I plug in x equals 0, I'm going to get a negative y value. If I plug in x equals 1, I'm going to get a negative y value. If I plug in x equals 2 or anything in between, I'm going to get a negative y value. So that's just like we did for domain and range. We're going to have the minus 1, oops, minus 1, then the x, and then the 3. Notice that at no point in time, I actually put an equal sign on my guys because right at minus 1, or right at 3, there are actually, that's 0, so it's no positive nor negative. And that's kind of the same thing.